All right, welcome back to some more Sekiro. Today we are fighting Genichiro here on my first playthrough of Sekiro in two years. Uh, as I mentioned in previous videos, this is my second playthrough ever of Sekiro. I played it a couple of years back, beat it once, and it was such a struggle. It's such a hard game. Uh, but I figured I kind of missed the combat, so I wanted to come back to it. So here we are doing a playthrough, uh, trying to get a sure ending here, um, which I haven't done before. Um, so yeah, Genichiro is sort of the consensus get good boss uh, in Sekiro. You fight him, you can fight him quite early, after like the early part of the game, after you beat like Giobo, Blazing Bull and, um, and the Ogre, you can choose to fight him, or you can do a lot of things uh, before you fight him. But uh, I think I f in this playthrough I fought him after Lady Butterfly. Um, which is sort of like optional. I don't know why I did Lady Butterfly. I don't need it for the sure ending, but whatever. Um, so yeah, let's see. Let's see how this fight goes here. Uh, we get done with the first phase here. We are a couple of healing gourds down here. We have taken some damage. I am kind of rusty uh, at this point. I played. Uh, I think this took me like an hour and a half to beat him again, which was kind of surprising. Uh, I thought I had like his moves set down, but I, as I said, rust uh, does play a factor here, and the fact that I'm not really that good at this, at this game. I've only beat. I'm only beaten it once, which doesn't really give me that much of an of an advantage, especially since that was two years ago. So yeah, let's see what happens here. We are sort of like half health here. We don't really heal. Um, I guess that, that's a good deflect. And we get greedy there. We took one too many uh, swings at him there. Uh, ideally, you should only go for two swings and then react to what, it, what he does. He might do like a, a, a swing back at you. He might jump into the air. He might jump backwards and try to shoot you with arrows. Oh my god, that, that is awkward. I don't have my healing gourd. I tried to heal for some reason, but I do have my homeward idol instead, which is even more awkward. And I'm really out of sync here. Uh, I can tell uh, that really threw me threw me off there. But we, we sort of recover with a good uh, parry of his long combo, and we do a really bad firecracker. I have no idea why I tried, what I tried to do there. Uh, we get the Mikir, we should be able to get him down here, yeah. So yeah, really rough fight so far. It's not at all clean. It's really ugly. So let's see what it, what the third phase here has for us. I'm really bad at lighting reversals, just so you know. Uh, for some reason, I struggle with the timing of jumping. I do get one here, but I think later I will absolutely miss one. Oh, we missed the parry timing. That's really bad, really bad parrying there. We do manage to get the delayed Mikir there, which I sometimes struggle with. I just get too... Uh, I just press Mikir too early there uh, a lot of times. And here, yeah, here I miss the, uh, miss the lightning reversal, so we are down to our last life here. Uh, oh my god, I tried to heal as well, that's so bad. Let's see if we can get Paris here. Oh no, we, we might be dead. Or I'm, <laughs> I know we're not dead, but it's so close. We get the lightning reversal, really clutch lightning reversal, and we are so low on health, but we do manage to get him down. So yeah, that was a really rough Genichiro fight, really ugly, uh, I'm really rusty, as you can tell. Uh, hopefully <laughs> I will get better with time and practice again. But thank you all for watching, uh, and I hope to see you all in the next one.